Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with James. I'm your host James. Today, another simple and delicious cook. We are going to be doing cabbage and potatoes in the Ninja Speedy. This is going to be fast and very good. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you can get my future videos. Let's get into the cook. All right, so before we get started, just a quick shot of what we're using. This is so, so simple. So we got um, a head of cabbage, uh, just a regular you know, medium sized cabbage. We've got three medium sized potatoes. We're going to be using a cup of water. We'll fill it with a cup of water when we need it. Um, Lowry's garlic salt and Tony Sachery's um, Creole or Cajun seasoning. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get this stuff prepped up. All right, so first thing that we want to do, um, we've got our potatoes here. Now, you can peel the skin off the potato if you like. I like to keep the skin on, it just kind of helps the potato stay intact when um, we're stirring this all together, but you can do either or. Um, so what you want to do, is there's three medium sized potatoes. Now you want to cut these a fairly good size, so I'm just going to get these cut, I'd say it's probably about a half inch wide down here. And then I'm going to take those and then just cut those in half. So we got some pretty good sized potatoes here. So quartered and cut like that. All right, and then I'll go ahead and I'll finish the rest of these and we'll take it to the next step. All right, so next we have our cabbage. Now today I am actually only gonna be using half of this cabbage, so cut half of the cabbage. Now you can do the whole thing if you want. Not a problem, but I'm just using half. So inside here you've got this, um, the root of the cabbage. Let me set this aside. And you want to get rid of that. It's uh, you know, right here. And so just make a little V on each side, like that. And then that will come right out. Because that it's tasteless, hard, um, I just don't like it. And then turn your cabbage over and get rid of the top layer here because it's soft. And then you can cut your cabbage any way that you want because um, it's just going to actually steam down, wilt down. So, um, but I like my uh, pieces just a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to quarter this that I have. And then one time and half. All right, so now I've got all our cabbage. And now from here, I'm gonna break all this up and we are going to rinse this off. I'm not gonna show you that, just put it in a bowl or a colander or something like that. Use some cold water, rinse it all off, and then we'll take it to the next step. All right, so now we're at the Ninja. Got you from the top view here just to kind of show you, give you a good look of what we're doing. So you got your rack in here. We're gonna take this out. We're not gonna be using this rack at all. Now a couple of things I wanna say before we get started. A couple of things you could do. One, um, what I do sometimes is cut up, you know, four or five, you know, six pieces of bacon, put it in here and just saute it before I start this process. And you can definitely do that as well. I'm just trying to cut back on um, a little bit of my um, intake of grease and certain things. But anyway, you can do that definitely. Um, so first thing you want to do is add your cup of water. Now also, instead of water, you can use chicken broth. Chicken broth gives it some uh, extra flavor as well. Next, we've got our potatoes. Dump our potatoes in there. And then just give it a little sprinkle, a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of garlic salt here. Oops, let me get this right. So a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of that Tony's Cajun seasoning as well, just a little bit in there. I'm getting the water as well. And from here, um, take it down, uh, down below and show you the settings that we're gonna be using. Okay, so now we've got the lid closed. The uh, unit is not on yet, so we are going to turn the unit on. And we wanna be over here on the rapid cook side. We are going to turn the uh, temperature to 375, go down to steam and crisp, actually turn it to 375, and we are going to give this uh, 10 minutes, so let's bump this down to 10 minutes, and then I'll explain after the reason why we're doing this first. It's a preheat for a few minutes, and then I'll start cooking those potatoes, and then we'll take it to the next step. 
All right, so we're counting down from the 10 minutes. Um, when it gets done, we're gonna open this up and we'll take a look and I'll explain why we're doing this first. All right, looking good. So just waiting for a little bit of that steam to go away and we're gonna take a quick look at the potatoes and those are looking perfect. Nice. So the reason why we're doing this first is we want to build a little bit of a crust on the potatoes so when we mix on the next step when we mix everything together that the potatoes don't just crumble, fall apart, and they're basically lost within the cabbage. So I am going to take you to the next step. Okay, so from here nothing's changed. Potatoes still in there, everything's the same. Um, but we are going to add a quarter cup of water just to help the um, cabbage because we are putting the cabbage in here, got the cabbage. Put all your cabbage in there. And we're not going to season the cabbage yet. We're going to give it a minute. So what we're going to do is close the top here, uh, switch the function from uh, steam and crisp. We're going to go down to the steam function. We're going to give it actually 11 minutes because we're going to take an intermission to add some seasoning. Hit start. And this is going to start steaming, and then uh, we'll bring you back in about five minutes and season it up, and then show you the next step. All right, guys, we're counting down. So I let it actually run the whole way because um, it didn't start steaming for about three minutes or so. So I'm taking it down to one minute. We're going to open it up, and it should be good. Yes. All right. So from here, and the reason why we're waiting to season it is because we want it to get soft, get wet, so it can. Um, the seasoning can stick. Let's take a quick look if we can get you with no steam, but it's wilted down pretty good and it's on its way. So from here, add your, uh, your seasonings. We're going to go in probably about three quarters of a tablespoon of the garlic salt. So add that. Yeah. And then our Cajun seasoning. Go in with that. And then from there, you want to give everything a nice stir. Get the potatoes stirred up, get the cabbage stirred up. I'll bring you in here in a minute, show you what it looks like while I'm stirring it up. You want to get those seasonings everywhere. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's looking delicious. So let's take a quick peek here. So we've got our potatoes and our cabbage, everything's looking good. Now we are going to have to add a little bit of time. Like I said, it took a few extra minutes for it to um, start steaming. So not a big deal. That's the great thing about the Ninja. If you need to add a little bit of time, no problem. So we're actually going to add, um, we'll add the difference. So we'll add five minutes. We should be good to go. We'll check it. See you then. All right, guys, so we're counting down from the um, additional few minutes, so five minutes that we added, and we let it steam all the way through, and we are done. So I'm going to open this up. We'll take a quick look. I'm sure it's perfect. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and give it a quick stir. Oh, yeah. Cabbage is perfect. Potatoes are perfect. Let me bring you in real quick just so you can get a look. Without getting steam. I don't know if I can do it without getting steam. There's a lot of steam in there, but it is looking absolutely amazing. So uh, we're done. I'm going to take it out. We will plate it. See you in a minute. All right. So here is what we ended up with cabbage and potatoes together. So I'm actually going to just give this a stretch. I put some uh, smoked paprika just to top it off. I just like the flavor of smoked paprika. But get in here. You can see it's still steaming hot. Let's take a quick bite. First of all, the, so the potatoes are perfectly cooked. Uh, I'm gonna get a potato, get some cabbage in here. Oh, let's take a bite. That is delicious. Don't go anywhere. I got some words to say. I'll meet you up top. All right, so we're finished with the cook. And what I want to say to you guys is that 
you know, this is just how to make the cabbage and the potatoes. You can add your uh, bell peppers, your onions, you know, whatever you want. Use the chicken broth, add the bacon if you want. Uh, but this is just how to make it and it's good, you know, by itself, but you can add all those extra things and, you know, just make it your own. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications so you can get my future videos. Give a thumbs up. Please drop an awesome comment. With that being said, we'll catch you in the next cook. Thanks for watching.